Hello everybody. If you've seen my videos before, you know that I love doing hip surgery and looking after my patients. Most of the time it all works out brilliantly and everybody's happy. But you can't please all the people all the time. Every so often, somebody comes back to clinic because they're not happy with their hip. I've seen a couple of people recently whose hips were painful a few months after surgery. And this prompted me to look at how often this happens and what causes it. Keep watching and I'll tell you all about it. Everyone knows that hip replacement surgery is one of the most successful operations of all time. Millions of people have had their lives transformed by this now routine surgery. So why do people end up disappointed? In this video, we'll look at the facts about dissatisfaction after joint replacement surgery. Who's unhappy? Why? And what can be done about it? Well, a recent study looked at how people felt about their hips at different times after surgery. In the first year after surgery, about 90% of people are happy. They don't have significant pain and they're getting on with their lives again. Five years later, 95% or so of people are happy, but by about seven to 10 years, the figures start to drift downwards a little bit. People aren't as satisfied, and it's usually because of declining mobility rather than pain. What about knee replacements? Well, it used to be the case that maybe one in four patients weren't happy with their new knees. Nowadays, however, the outcome is much better due to better implants, surgical techniques, and advances in the technology. The study shows that the outcome is much the same as for hip replacements, which is really reassuring because lots of my patients have arthritic knees as well as hips and they might end up having a knee replacement. In the first year, the biggest issue is persisting pain. Your old worn out hip has been replaced, but that doesn't mean you wake up from surgery ready to run a marathon. Swelling, stiffness and pain from the healing process can persist for a few months. For most people though, everything settles down with some time and rehabilitation. But for the others, it never really goes away, and that's frustrating both for you and for me as your surgeon. For some people, their mobility isn't as good as they hoped it would be. The hip feels stiff, and people sometimes say that their leg feels heavy and wooden. As we get older, our muscles get weaker and other joints start to wear out. We get generally stiffer and start to lose confidence. These symptoms might be due to problems with the hip implants, such as loosening, wear or infection. Sometimes people can react to the hip implants. If your other joints are stiff and painful, this can put extra strain on your new hip. What about the longer term though? Well, most hip and knee replacements will be expected to last 15 to 20 years or more. Hip replacements can wear out over time and this can lead to loosening of the components. This usually causes pain Typically, when you stand up after sitting down for a while, we call this start-up pain. The hip just doesn't feel right. If this happens, you might have to have revision surgery. This can be quite complex surgery with a longer recovery time at a time of your life when you might have other medical problems. It's no wonder that this makes people unhappy with their hip. So why are some people more dissatisfied than others with their hip replacement? Well, persistent pain, stiffness and failure to meet someone's expectations from surgery are the commonest cause. All these symptoms can be made worse by things like anxiety and depression. If you have a complication such as a wound infection or a dislocation, this can understandably make you very worried and unhappy. So what can we do to help? If you're considering joint replacement surgery, here's what I suggest. Get strong before surgery. Stay as active as you can and concentrate on getting as healthy as you can be by losing weight, cutting back on alcohol and eating well. Set realistic expectations. Recovery takes months, not weeks, so surrender to the process and don't plan too far ahead. Look after your mental health. Feeling stressed makes pain worse, so ask for help before it all gets too much. After surgery, keep going with your physiotherapy. It's really important. Get on top of the pain, take your painkillers as prescribed and have plenty of rest. I really can't stress too much how important this is. Lie down if you feel tired. Don't fight it. So what can I do to help if you aren't happy? What most people want more than anything is to make sure that there isn't a serious problem with their hip. My job is to listen to you, make a diagnosis and come up with a plan. Most of the time, that's all that's needed. 
All I need to do is to reassure you that all's well with your new hip and you just need to give it time. What about the patients that I saw recently? Well, both of them had pain at the top and side of their thighs where the gluteal muscles attached to the femur, the thigh bone, quite close to the scar. They both started doing more strenuous activities and their muscles and tendons didn't like it. They will get better with the course of physiotherapy and maybe an injection of local anaesthetic and steroid if it doesn't settle down quickly. Hip replacements can be life-changing, but they can't work miracles and turn the clock back 20 years. Understanding what to expect and how to improve your chances of success makes all the difference. Have you had a joint replacement? How was your experience? Tell us what you think in the comments below. Let's keep this conversation going. Thanks for watching. See you all again next time.